Hey, what's up guys? Today we have a 500, 600, and 800, and uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, cleaning your radiator because that is a big issue that, that uh, I'm finding that a lot of people are having, not only with CF Motos, but uh, every manufacturer out there, you need to be able to keep your radiator clean to keep your uh, machine cool. So this doesn't just apply to CF Moto, but every one of you out there that's out there doing mud riding, as well as today, it's hot today. We've been out uh, riding all morning and at uh, Davis Lake Trails, and uh, it was super dusty, and it was so dusty that it began to, if you were riding behind somebody for too long, after, man, man we were out there for a while, but uh, it be, we began to kind of, our temperature started rising a little bit, and uh, so we're going to, I'm going to show you what to do about that, how to clean your radiator to get uh, so that your engine will run at its coolest temperatures and uh, you can ride all day and have a good time. But uh, we have a radiator genie and I'm going to have a link to that down in the description. But uh, you get a, a air wand and a water wand and this is going to help us to be able to get in there and really clean our radiator. You can see it just attaches to your garden hose, your water hose, and it's got it's got a, a, a slender tube here that's bent at a 90, and that thing will put off some water. So that's going to allow us to be able to reach through there. We're going to start out with the 500 down there, cleaning it, cleaning the radiator, and uh, we'll we'll move to the 600, and then we'll talk about the 800. Uh, the 400 C Force is the same as the 500 so if you have a 400 you know whatever we do with the 500 is what you can do with your 400. Um, now we do have this I don't really intend to use this today but I'll do a video on using this one day when your radiator just gets really bad we'll use some of this condenser cool cleaner you have to be careful using this I, I haven't seen it hurt any plastics but you don't want to leave it on your plastics very long at all but we're going to try not to have to use any chemicals so all that you have to buy is one of these radiator genies if we end up needing this we'll do a video on it but also maybe in this video we'll talk about this b52 it's just a a, a really good degreaser we're going to put put in this pump sprayer we're going to just put a little coat on each one it's not supposed to hurt the paint or the plastics so we're going to try it out and see if it will really eat that dirt away and we can just be lazy and spray it off but one of my favorite products cleaning my machines is this rain x waterless car wash uh, and it does a good job of putting a good protectant coat over your black plastics over your uh, colored plastics and it uh it really does a good job to make it really shine so i Normally I'll come over here, wash them down real good, spray a little degreaser on it, use my foam gun if I want to. But when I bring it in the shop, I always coat it down with this and, and let it sit for a second and then buff it, uh, buff it in. And uh, it does a great job. But anyways, let's get to work. All right guys, so we're gonna start with this 500 and I'm not spraying any degreaser or any kind of chemical. We're just using straight water. And the 500 is easy because the 500 and the 400 because you can you can just work your way in between the tire and uh the plastic here and uh and then you can just watch from up here and really get into all areas to really spray this thing so if you take your if you do take your front cap off it will give you access to really get this in behind your horn here and you can really spray it and like I said, you want to cover every square inch and just slowly run it, blow water through the fins without bending them. And see this wand will allow you to get behind that, like I said, get behind that horn and normally you'll find a little bit of dirt clogged up back there because you can't spray that you can't get to that from the outside with a regular garden hose now i'm working over to the other side but you know you ain't got to sit here and watch the whole thing but you can see how we're getting a good flow out the back side here that's what you want 
the dirtier it is, of course, the, the slower you want to be with this process. All right, on the 600, just go ahead and take your uh, take your hood off, and uh, it'll give us a pretty good access point to wash the radiator. You can see this one's actually pretty clean. But what I like about the 600 access is we can really work the front side and the back side. On the 500 and 800, it's a little more difficult to get back there, but uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. But another thing about this wand real quick is if you got good pressure, water pressure at your house, I mean, this is gonna be a good tool to use to even wash your machine to really, like Nicholas was pointing out a while ago, you'll really be able to get into some places that you just normally can't with your garden hose. So I like that. But uh, anyways, we're gonna wash it. Now you can, uh, I might actually start from the back side here and just come in around the fan because mud will get packed in back there. But you can really work the corners and all around the fan shroud from the back side. And uh, that's, I like that. So let's, uh, from the front side, we'll work this top row and work our way down. Alright, I'm an idiot. I didn't know this, and you might not either. But uh, this little centerpiece will pop out. It just snaps in. So grab, and you put it back in by just sliding these uh, stabs in. Just slide that down, and then these pop in place, just like that. But uh, take your thumb, put it at the top, pull that out, set it to the side, and now you got all the access in the world for your 600. So this is your 600 uh, single seater and two seater. Now you can get everywhere with this thing. Make sure you get behind that horn. I've actually thought about relocating the horns on these things and just mounting them somewhere else where they're not right in front of the radiator. But anyhow, that'll be another project. Now, on the 800, here's your tip and trick to get better access to your radiator. These mesh screens are plastic screens. They pop out and it'll give you access to everything. Take it off, pop the rubber grommets out. There's three and then slide that out. Now we have a lot better access to clean our radiator. So uh, here we go. Now make sure you get to the bottom corners of your radiator and that's where this, this genie will come into play. You can run it down either through here or through here. Just kind of flex this black bumper plastic back and work that bottom corner. You see I got that dirty water coming out. There's some mud and stuff down there in the bottom. See that? You want to work that out. It may look clean to you from the surface, but once you start spraying it out, you'll realize how dirty it is. All right, guys, so I mixed a little bit of this B-52 uh, in here, and I added just a little bit of water. Um, I'm gonna just coat the four-wheelers, and uh, I've already Pre rinsed them and got them wet and knocked the bulk off and now we're going to try this out. Just going to get a good coat everywhere. And also you could spray this in your radiator and really knock some of the stuff out if you were having a hard time getting it all out.
All right, we're gonna let that soak for a minute. Not too long, you don't want it to dry. And uh, we'll see what it does. All right, we've let this sit for about a minute. Uh, I definitely wouldn't let it sit no more than five minutes, especially if it's hot outside, just don't let it dry. Now we're gonna blast it off. guys one thing you want to definitely do and this goes for any model it don't matter what brand you have or anything but when you go riding out off-road you're likely to get sand pebbles grit and stuff in your brake in between your brake disc and your brake pad and it'll lodge itself in there and it'll make a squealing noise squeaking noise uh, and so what you need to do is when you're washing your machine don't just wash it and sit let it sit still you need to actually put in neutral and move it some and then wash this genie will come in handy uh, get down in between the disc brake the disc and the uh, brake pads and do that on all four corners and just kind of roll it until you hear that grit get out of the out between them and that goes for any model any manufacturer it don't matter but i recommend that put in neutral roll it back and forth and spray in between on the back side and the front side until you really get that out and it's best to do it while you're kind of rocking it like this and you'll get that you'll get that junk out so just another tip for you now when you mix your b52 you can go mix it straight i mean don't even mix it with water but i mean you're going to go through it pretty quick just add a little water to it to make it stretch out but listen to be honest with you i doubt this is going to be a uh, there's no such thing as a magic potion to make it any better or easier than elbow grease nothing beats you taking a rag in your hand and scrubbing your machine or your vehicle uh but this may help you know and I mean, it's doing a good job to the 600 and 800 so far, but nothing beats hand washing your machine, but this this does do a pretty good job. So it's best, best spray on stuff I've ever seen. But still, <clears throat> I'm still gonna bring mine in the shop and I'm still going to uh, rub them down with a rag and stuff inside with, a, uh, with that Rain-X waterless spray. It does a good job. All right, now we're just rinsing off that B-52. We let it sit for a little bit. Holy cow. It's doing pretty good. Uh, no scrubbing. I've kind of already sprayed a little bit of this off. All right, guys, so I'm done spraying now, and uh, I really like this Radiator Genie. Um, it, hooked up to the regular water hose, garden hose. I do have a lot of water pressure here and it helps as well. But uh, as you can see, it's done a really good job on all the machines. Um, I think I kind of diluted it, that B52 a little bit too much when I was on my uh, 800. So you can mix it. I mean, you don't have to mix it at all, but uh, you know, let it coat, let it soak for about tops three minutes probably is what we did. Uh, especially on the 500 it did really good but uh anyhow we're going to wrap this thing up i hope you enjoyed it this radiator genie uh i'll have a link in the description for it i, I recommend it um that rain x waterless car wash is still one of my favorite to just come in put a good shine on everything and it protects it uh, other than that keep your radiators clean and uh have a good time out there, and God bless y'all. We'll see you in the next one.